Is this the right one for an argument? I've told you once. <laughs> no, you haven't. Listen. Oh, the shower. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. It's only a waffer thing. Look, I couldn't eat another thing. I'm absolutely stuck. Buggle. <laughs> Activities sallied forth and infiltrated your place of purveyance to negotiate the vending of some cheesy comestibles. Come again? I want to buy some cheese. Oh, I thought you were complaining about the music. John Cleese. And um, uh, it's an interesting setup that we're looking at and it is king arthur go and tell your master that we have been charged by god with a sacred quest if he will give us food and shelter for the night he can join us in our quest for the holy grail well i'll ask him but i don't think he'll be very keen uh he's already got one you see what i told him we already got one <laughs> basically this Gentleman is a comic genius. Well, what are you then? I'm French. Why do you think I have this outrageous accent, you silly king? And has had uh, so many varying roles. You don't frighten us, English pig dogs. And really is the soundtrack of my childhood. Well, now go away, or I shall taunt you a second time. And now for something completely different. And much of my adulthood. I mean, I've I've enjoyed his comedy. No, that's not dead. It's uh, resting. Resting? Yeah, resting. All right then. If it's resting, I'll wake it up. Hello, Foley. Wakey, wakey. Rise and shine. But one of the most unique things is that he also uh, did a program called Faulty Towers. Well, I must be punished then, mustn't I? Which my father uh, really loved, Faulty Towers. Can you remember the last time she did? No, I can't, but then my memory isn't very good. You can say that again. Can I do it? Oh, thank you. <clears throat> I forgot what it was. He would lay on the couch and watch them at night on PBS, and uh, I would watch occasionally, but, um, but just last uh, last December uh, for my birthday Bess and I went to uh, theater in London and went to a dinner theater to a Faulty Towers event we had so much fun and then we wound up watching the whole series twice uh, it uh, and and the comic genius was just phenomenal and so we want to take just a little bit of time and ask some questions and uh, and see if we can't uh, get get some background information on, on uh, John Cleese and his insights into God. Well, um, even as a child, I used to... Shh. Shut up! Phil, are you shushing me or someone else? When I say shh, it's just a nervous mannerism I picked up. <laughs> if, uh, if I want you to keep quiet, I will say shush. You were saying? <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> I'll stay quiet if you like. I'm so sorry. Did I say shush? I meant shh. No, no, I'm shushing other people. But, uh, but thank you for joining me today. Uh, I'll, I'll hop right into it. You know, you essentially are the soundtrack of my life as far as... Oh, that's a sweet thing to say. But, uh, but the other thing that is very interesting is my father was known as a spiritual leader. And, oh. Uh, and had a tremendous uh, background in theology and stuff, but he loved you, and he loved Faulty Towers, and, and I used to sit with him during the last few years of his life as he watched you uh, on Faulty Towers on BBC, and so if I had to say thank you, that's one of the ways. Uh, he liked like for Brian then. Oh, yes, yeah. So yeah. Where, I, where I wanted to go with the, the question was, in Holy Grail and Life of Brian and Meaning of Life, God seemed to be 
uh, a character and uh, <laughs> and and, uh, and was a part of the comedy and and of course part of the comedy that I loved. Uh, but what was going on in in, uh, in Monty well, Python? What was going on is is that the characters, most of the characters involved, would have believed in some kind of god. But when somebody says to me, "Do you believe in God?" I don't know what it means. I mean, I know there isn't someone sitting in a throne with a long beard direct in the traffic, as it were. But at the same time, I don't think the world is purely materialistic. I think there is some force out there and that some very special people can connect with it. But most people are not prepared to do the hard work that would put them in the right frame of mind because I think you only experience it when you get rid of the, get rid of the ego, when you are poor in spirit. Do you see what I mean? Absolutely. I don't want to talk to you no more, you empty-headed animal food trough whopper. I fought in your general direction. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. Uh -huh.